It smells great. <laughs> Yo, we out here on the lake. Smells great. You know when you're in the deep, lush jungle and all that green, that fresh air, that mountain air, that altitude air. That's what I live for. <laughs> So I just found out when you see an old lady with a branch or something, the locals call them Chilio. Chilio. <laughs> so they're like, they're like the, they run this place. You'll see them. Es parte privada. Ah. I think uh, we're going to a private area, so we took the wrong path down. She's asking. What the? No? 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 You gotta have a guide and they only go at certain times. Yes. At and 10. you have to be at the park in the center of the city. Okay. Cerro Verde, which is called Cerro Verde. Okay, so we missed that, but we've got into a private garden. He's telling us that we can pretty much get the same view. So we're going there now, we'll see. Sopa de tortilla. tortilla. And then we have the, uh, mm. the costilla de cerdo. Costilla de cerdo. With, with fried tortilla. Oh, with fried tortilla. Because we eat tortilla with every meal here. Cocktail, Cocktail de, concha. de They was really trying to get us for our money, but after some time negotiating, we got on these jet skis and we're good to go. Yo, we out here on the lake with my jet ski. I got the sun on my eyes. Look at that view. Look at that.
were driving back. It's supposed to be two hours, but we were stuck in traffic and we was getting really hungry. So we got some roadside tacos. Even though it wasn't what we planned, it worked out great and we had lots of fun. Stay tuned for my next and last vlogging episode in El Salvador. It was my friend's birthday party and they rented a beach house. Be on the lookout for that.